Let's discover some powerful navigation tips for the iPhone and the iPad. First, it's important to note that by placing commonly used high priority applications on your home page, you'll reduce the amount of time that you spend navigating from screen to screen to screen. We'll show you how to organize and prioritize your home page later, but for now, please note that to move apps anywhere, you simply need to press and hold one app until the screen vibrates just like this. And once that screen vibrates, you can move that app anywhere you want, within a page, or you can move it between pages by pushing it hard to the left or hard to the right. You can also create folders by clicking one thing into another thing like this and then you can even rename that folder anything that you like. Just like this. To stop the icons from vibrating simply press your home button. Here are three basic navigation tips that every iPhone and iPad user should try. Make sure you always pop to the top. When you're working in your email and you scroll way down to the bottom looking for a message, you can tap the top black bar right here and you will pop right back up to the top of your inbox. What's even better is that you can also pop to the top within a particular email. So for example, if I scroll down within this email, I can pop to the top right near the clock and I pop right to the top of that email. This works in a lot of different places within tasks and contacts, so try it. I think you'll find it saves you a lot of time. Now sometimes we're typing an email and we realize we want to undo what we typed. If we shake our iPod or iPhone back and forth and then back again like this, we get this great little message that allows us to undo typing. When I click on it and decide, oh, maybe I want to redo that, I simply shake back and forth and back again, and I can redo that typing, just like that. Finally, you can also swipe across any email task or item in a list that needs to be quickly deleted, like this. By sweeping from left to right, you can get rid of a lot of stuff fast, and that's going to save you time. Multitasking on your iPhone or iPad is easy. Simply double-click the Home button to see all of your most recently used icons on the bottom. Sweep from right to left, and you can see even more icons. Just like this. If you sweep from left to right, it reveals your iPad controls as well as your orientation lock, your brightness setting, the iPad controls, and a volume setting. So this is a very useful sweep. If you're on an iPhone, you need to sweep one more time and you'll see your volume setting. iPad users can sweep up with four fingers to reveal those very same open applications. Now, whenever you open these applications, if you press and hold those applications, you'll see a red minus sign on the upper left-hand corner. Tap that red minus sign to delete any open applications that may be using up a lot of battery or that you just want to close. When you sweep down with four fingers, it will close those open applications on the iPad only. Now, the iPad also allows you to sweep with four fingers from right to left, and you can see I'm moving from open app to open app. You can also sweep from left to right to go back. It's a great way to navigate between applications. To close an application, I simply use my four fingers in a pinching motion, and you can see that it just closes that app right up really fast.